<laughs> and we're back. Episode number 18 and I'm here with Sarah. It's Michael. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend? Oh, it was good. You see Toy Story 5? It's not out yet. I'm still writing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. One day. Yeah. <laughs> Michael went and bought plants. Yeah. I've got a greenery. I'm a green man. Um, well, last week is a bit of a blur because- um, You were sober the whole time. Yeah. I haven't touched piss. I haven't touched it for a while now. I'm just going to do that whole dry July shit. You did buy a vape. Yeah. I did buy a vape to consume some weed with. Yeah. But, not, you know- Not the illegal weed, just that, like weeds from the garden. That still doesn't affect dry July, I don't think. Yeah, no way. <laughs> what else? I, fucking I found a think. turtle. What, in the lake? No, just like walking around, yeah, during the week I found a turtle. Or on the road? No, I was just next to the river, like out over there. Why didn't you film it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, um, I did drugs. <laughs> Michael did drugs on Saturday night. Yeah, legal ones though. Legal <clears> drugs. <throat> that MDMA and cocaine that you were talking about it certainly isn't legal, young man. Not yet. But yeah, it wasn't that. So, that's not on record. Um. So, yeah, last week was just a normal fucking week. All right. Mm. It's only been three days since we recorded our last podcast. So, how about you stop prying into our lives so deeply it's been like four days all give right us just relax break. give Let, us a break give some time for something to happen first yeah so it's been four days since the last pod we were filmed the last podcast because last week was a bit of a fuck off what about the fucking story we told about the prostitution that we're, we committed we were worried about that one the last podcast has got our most fucked up story on it and you it's got the most views on our channel because we promoted our channel that week yeah if you want to watch these podcasts on youtube you can see our faces and see us talking on marty and michael fully actual the youtube you got to see the set especially today the set is amazing we've got our normal backdrop and then we've got these amazing plants channel. got a greenery we've got a greenery YouTube channel <clears throat> you ripped one before, Fiona. Don't! Dude, 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 she'll be so mad. Don't you say what I did uh, have done before. Yeah, and then you're fucking Don't doing it now. Don't you go and tell me what dude, I have done before. you ripped another fucking leaf off. Don't you say that in here on the TV. She's going to be- oh, she go and Talk about Stop! It. Stop Don't ripping the Don't talk about it's it anymore. It's not our plan. You don't tell me what I've done, did Dude, already. You can't rip her plan. You can't say that yet. She's going to be so cr- Stop! Stop! your <laughs> teeth talking oh, no. about it. Okay, what do you want? I'll give you something. You want me to do it? Okay, okay. Uh, you don't I'll owe do me, it again. You don't owe me the $70 from the fucking- <sighs> The tolls that I've been paying for. Okay? One Stop! more! <laughs> no, he will be mad, dude. Okay? That's enough. Today's Fuck. date is the 1st of the 7th, 2019. God. And on this day in 1916, World War One, the British Army had its worst day, losing 240 troops in one day. In 1948, Australian cricket legend Donald Bradman scores 128 runs and then fucks 14 women. I think that- Really? Oh, I guess that probably would have happened if- oh, Nah, nah, no way. It made international news. He fucked 14 women after, after that innings. In 1991, Arnold Schwarzenegger, biggest films, Terminator 2, Judgment Day premieres in the US, and then Arnold Schwarzenegger takes a 14 kilogram dump on the White House stairs. Oh, man, I tuned out. Unbelievable. It's distracting. It takes away from the first part of it. Anyway, famous birthdays. <clears throat> Singer Missy Elliott turns 47 and then rips her hair out using a rake from her neighbor's backyard. Holy shit. I remember Missy Elliott. Pamela she Anderson from Baywatch turns 51 and then smears some beetle juice on her fists. <laughs> Why? It's just what it says. Dan Aykroyd, actor from Ghostbusters, turns 66 and then toe punts a possum. God, that's not even- He doesn't live in Australia. Liv Tyler, it? famous actor, Lord of the Rings, turns 41 and attacks a small boy. Whoa, how old was the kid? 41. Shit. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <All right>. you <laughs> fucking scared me. <laughs> oh, God. Next segment. Oh, right. This uh, week, the segment is titled... Blacks in Amasia. Boy, stop! 
<laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. And um, <clears throat> oh god, it's just a segment where basically we re- read out fan questions. And this week we have seven, seven fan questions. And Michael says we got best 10. questions yet. Then we got ten. We're only going to read seven, maybe ten. We'll see. No. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll see. We'll see. Meets all your concreting needs. Call wholesome. Matthew, <laughs> ask for Matthew Brown. Wholesome. Team leader there. Wholesome concreting. Working right. his way up through the ranks there. <laughs> Produces a podcast in his spare time. Primarily works at Wholesome. It's from... It's Julian... Wads? Wads. I Julian think it's Wads. W-O-D-S. I think the uh, J is actually uh, silent and it's Julian Wads. It's Julian Wads. It's Julian Wads. Wads. I think we've been in a couple of his vids, but I can't remember the guy. Oh, but yeah, I, would, I definitely he's, would remember that. I don't think we have. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's asked... If you had to pick one drug to be on for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? <laughs> um, yeah, this is a great question. It's a very tough one. Very sticky situation. Yeah, it's hard. How do tough, you choose one? Tough. There's so many. Tough question. Pushing. Squeeze shit. Fucked it up. Hard to answer. Thinking. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm thinking too. I think we're always thinking. I think um, the the we I I, I gave it a bit of thought. Because this pod, this question came out last podcast, and so I've cheated and had some time to think to answer this one. And I think weed, I think weed would be the one. It's it affects your health the least, as far as everyone knows. And um, yeah, you can still like, operate when you're a little bit high, and it's still fun. Like it's just it just chills you out, and you just become like a happier version of yourself. Alcohol. If you could only do alcohol, you would you just fuck yourself. And all the same with all the other drugs. If you could only do. Like imagine being on MD every day. Yeah, you'd you'd fu- you'd, you'd you wouldn't just be able to go, do you just become like full retard and you like wouldn't ever get anything done. It'd be hard. You'd forget what you're doing, <laughs> dude. Okay, the that. <laughs> Don't you talk dude, to me you're, about you're that? Explaining this to Fee, dude, because she bought that the other fucking weekend. Don't you talk to me about what I've done, dude? <laughs> you're not acting like someone on weed. Acting like a fucking... St- oh, dude. Stop. So, it'd be MDMA for you? No. I'd probably go weed too. But yeah, I'd be tempted to do alcohol. Yeah. So, there you go. Michael's addictions... His his addiction lures him towards alcohol, but his logic, my logical heart. brain... My heart. ...says weed because not it's my brain, my not, as dis- not as destructive. Stop destroying... My Can girlfriend. Talk to me friends. about that. Do you want to talk about it? No, no, no. Anymore. Get, can, no, I don't no. Before talk we about continue it. this, stop. Mm. Like, we're taking away because that's her fucking mm. birthday present, dude. That's her birthday Can present. Talk to me about From that. From her work. I'm done talking about that. Oh, don't you mm. fucking. Stop! Mm. Don't! You're. F- <laughs> that would. I would cop shit. <sighs> I'm kicking your- You say sorry! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, can you just stop fucking the plants up? That one's so- Oh, just don't do it anymore. Next question. Okay. Next question is from Lunch Lowe's 20. And she is asked, Any plans on returning to streets to public pranks? We need more singing to strangers. Wow, that what what a video to stand out to someone. Yeah, we really want to start doing that again. We're going to buy a handy cam and we're going to go out there. And we've got so many fucking good social experiment ideas, but they never do well yeah. on social media. Share our vids if we do pranks. That's what we started out doing. That's what we love doing. That's all we used to do is go out in public and fuck dogs. Go on our uh, actual YouTube channel, Marty and Michael, and you'll see just all our social experiments that we used to do the public. And and I'd love to go and do that again. So, yes, we will be doing that again very soon. So, yes, lunch, Lars, we will be coming back with a vengeance to the public. <laughs> Next question. All right. Next question is from Aubrey dot Osborne. Aubrey, and she's asked Marty if you had to choose between a cow and Michael. Cow. Okay. And then she's the second part of the question is and Michael, if you had to choose between eating those fish you did in that video or a bottle of piss, which one would it be? 
Piss is like standard. On the weekend, I drank like a few glasses of piss just to shock people for fun. It's not even really a thing anymore. It's like it gets boring. Like people are over it. I pissed. Oh, dude, I pissed Shami's cinema couch. Yeah, and Fiona said you piss on her as well? Yeah, yeah, she was next to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. She was not happy. What did Shami say? Shami doesn't. Yeah, he's, he's, I don't know. I guess he's pretty chill. But um, yeah, and then he gave me some shorts to wear. And he and Jay, his brother, gave me a shirt to wear because I pissed all in my clothes. Um, so there you go. Michael, I, yeah, even, I drink. Piss. Don't even ask questions with piss with Michael because it's always going to be the answer. He prefers piss over milk. Why would you choose the cow over me? Oh, look. Um, <clears throat> not that you're not attractive, but um, cows. You know, <laughs> like, do you want me to go into grotesque detail about how good-looking cows are? <laughs> I don't think I need to. I'm, I'm, I think it's quite obvious how stunning and majestic they are. They're, you know, idolized in India because they're just so physically arousing. Like, they don't even eat them there because they're so hot. They're so attractive. <laughs> God, that was smooth. That was smooth. Yeah, I. Yeah, okay. I would not. I don't feel offended that, yeah, a cow is hotter than me to you. And, like, a cow can just take- A cow can just take more of what I want to give. <laughs> and what? It's not just sexual. It's very it's physical. More, it's it's very physical. I, like, I, I lose myself in fuck when I'm, when I'm with a cow. Like, I, just, I just get lost. It's just- a, It's like it's a fight to survive. Is and it more? somehow we're fucking. And it's a, a fight- it's Yeah, I'm, f- I'm trying to kill and survive at the same time. And also, I'm fucking somehow. And then, bang, I wake it- up from the blackout. And usually, I'm standing over the cow victorious. Blood. With blood, but like hard cock blood. Is it more sex or more like violence? I think it's a healthy dose of both. They meet in the middle and then they <laughs> swirl together. And then I black out and rage fuck. <laughs> Great question. Great question. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. That was funny. Okay. Next question is from Shadik with a double D, 93. Hmm. And he, or, yeah, it's he, has asked, fuck, marry, kill, Paul Walker, Hitler, your uncle. Hmm. Uncles. Probably f- Fuck Paul Walker, cause, just because I haven't fucked a corpse yet. Oh, I guess Hitler's a corpse too. No, no. Yeah, but you, yeah, you fucked a corpse that's non-human. But like, yeah, you want to really fuck count. a human corpse, you're saying. Yeah, but I guess Hitler's a corpse as well. Um, I probably want to- um, Is this when they're alive or when they're dead now, like right now? Well, let's go with alive. So like, yeah, because you got to kill one. You can't kill a dead person. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, you got to either, yeah, fuck, kill, marry, Hitler, Paul Walker, and your uncles. All right. Well, I'd probably um, marry my uncle just so he didn't have to go through any sort of trauma, even though, um, you know, our uncles are notoriously sexually active with us while we were children. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, um, I'd, all, all you need to do to kill Paul Walker is just give him the car keys to a car that goes over 100 k's now and the dumb dog will wrap himself around a fucking tree. So, I'll just throw him the keys to a fucking <laughs> Holden V8 <laughs> Commodore <laughs> and then oh. I'll fuck Hitler just because it's a dominance thing. Yeah, you want to- Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'd probably- No, I'd fuck Paul Walker because he's hot <laughs> and then I'd kill Hitler for what he did. And I'd marry my uncles because I want it to take it further than just sexual. Yeah, yeah. And no, I get that. They're not into dating, the uncles. But if we had a choice, if we could pin them down and marry them. Yeah, I'd definitely go for that too. Yeah, it's hard. That's a hard question. That was a good one. Hmm. All right. Next one is from V-A-I-B-H-A-V underscore G-A-U-T-I. God, that's a shit Instagram name. That could just be his real name and you're just being really insensitive to his culture. Yes. Shit. Sorry about that. Next one is from, yeah, that person I just said. He has asked, were you both an intelligent student during high school days? Yeah. Well, I did all right. Marty didn't try in school, but is just naturally gifted with his brain. I'm the best. The best. I didn't try at all at school. 
I, like school was just like a social fucking like you just social gathering with people. And then they give you like a big overall exam that tests everything, the QCS test. We got an A in that. School's not even important. I don't use anything from school anymore and I used to pay you to do my assignments. Yeah. So, I guess Marty was and I was not, but I had good business skills. Yeah, really, really business savvy at high school, Michael. He would- um. People would staple cash to him. Yeah. And he would drink piss for 50 cents. I licked a few bins. Really, really smart business businessman. So, yeah, we were very intelligent and we still are. Soul. Next question is from Cafe underscore Elate. And it says, do you think you lived slash experienced life enough that if you were to die today, you'd be happy to go? Or, or are there- or is there more to achieve? There's always more to achieve. Wait, wait. It's not finished. Also, you are the best. Oh, uh, yeah. It's good There's always are. more unless you just hit that wall and die, which we all- We're all going to die. There's always more to do. If you're comfortable with what you have, then you ain't- you, Then you're, if you're not moving forwards. You're going backwards. You don't have to move forwards in the same areas in life all the time. But you should always be striving for more and better and best. Saying that, like, man, the amount of traveling and fun I have had is five lifetimes of a lot of other people. So, like, oh, yeah. if I was to die, it'd be like, man, I had a good run and I was very lucky. We've done whatever the fuck we want in our entire lives. But, yeah, there's always more. There's, you know, there might be stuff like even if it's wanting to be healthier, if it's wanting to fucking have a family, if it's wanting to have seven houses, there's always different areas in life that you want to be better in. I want to have, I want to own three cows. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Brahmin! <laughs> Who's Brahmin? It's a type of cow. Oh, really? <laughs> Is there a such thing as a Brahmin cow, man? <laughs> God, that's fucked. All right, next question is from J Dodds eighty eight. Where does Marty get all of his accents and noises from? Um, I'm not sure. There's um, a few uh, priests have thought I was possessed, and there's sometimes I speak fluent tongues and Latin, and I don't even know how. And sometimes um, animal noises come so clearly out of my mouth that yeah people stop and turn around and think that there's like a bat but it's just me and i've just opened my mouth and those noises come out so to answer your question no one knows not one person knows doctors priests religious types everyone's looked into it and no one knows where all these things come from some people think i'm not human uh Marty's right there is a brahmin cow wow there is a bra- well he knows his cows well Holy fuck. Yeah, of course I know my cows. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks because cows are my favorite animal. Oh. Ever anyway. Fa- ever doubt my cow knowledge. Whew. Next question is from Ryan.Zorzit. Would you ever consider taking up a profession in sports? Yeah. We, we were aspiring tennis players at one stage. I liked all types of different sports. It would be a fun life. I would actually, it would be a fucking pretty cool job. But it's, you know, if you're not amazing at it, you you got to sacrifice your whole life if you want to make it. And fucking, if you don't make it, then you're just a fucking coach for that sport for the rest of your life. So, oh, it's a big man. risk to take. So, only, yeah. And it, like, if you are a professional- so, if you're a professional museum, at least- If you're a professional museum- and Then you've got- like, You've made of artifacts. I remember I wanted to be a museum for a good four years in primary school. I would collect artifacts and store, <laughs> store them in my body and charge admission for people to look down my throat and to look at the <laughs> artifacts. I was a pretty damn good museum. Open Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 but p.m. But if, if you're a sportsman, it's hard work and you can't do anything. You can't have fun. The weekends are literally- But if you love the sport and you don't need to go out and have fun, then yeah, that's what- Go and have some fucking- Go and be a professional sportsman. But yeah, if if you like to socialize- It's a lot of hard work. 
Too too much, too many things to sacrifice for us. So we didn't do it. We thought, fuck that cunt, eh? (laughs) We were like, fuck that shit, man. (laughs) Let's go get some fucking beers, cunt. Remember that? (laughs) That's what we said, cunt. (laughs) 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 Fucking sick, eh? It was fucking sick shit, cunt, eh? (laughs) We went and had some beers, cunt. And they're like, oh, come train you dumb, cunt. And we said, fuck off, cunt. We told them to get fucked. Yeah, we we did say that to the sport that we spent what ten years trying to fucking be museum. the best museum. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, you yeah you museum. Could, yeah, you could be a museum. All right, that is the end of uh, fan questions. The next segment is called. <laughs> and this is uh, where we just oh basically <laughs> tell a story of something crazy that's happened in our lives. And this week, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We're going to tell you a story about the time we were tennis coaching full time and the shit we used to do to the kids. Yeah, talking about tennis coaching, this is a perfect <clears> story for it. Michael's urinating into a bottle under the table. <laughs> I will now proceed to shake his left arm so that piss sprays oh. all over him. <laughs> Can you get me a bottle, like a glass from my kitchen that I own? <laughs> God damn it. Cunt. Stop doing that. Angry at me. He's fucking pissing at the table. It's my house. (laughs) It used to be your house. (laughs) Fucking. Now he's got a wine glass to piss up. You keep that cock away from me, brother. Yeah, I'm not going to. Oh, piss. Stop. Get into the story, you fucking prick. I just want to have a wee in peace in this week's story is about the time Michael and I used to be tennis coaches. Fuck! I just pissed all over myself. <laughs> hey, it's, it happened two nights ago. This week we talk about our behaviour when we used to be full-time tennis coaches because it was bizarre. We didn't want to be tennis coaches, but we did it to pay the bills. We slaved our fucking asses And we up. cut corners hard, especially when we worked for Matchpoint Tennis. <laughs> Anyone who we coached, if you if you listen to our podcast now and watch our videos, if we've coached you when you were when you were a kid, oh, then you deserve a refund. You won't be getting one, but you deserve a refund because we didn't try and we purposely didn't try. No, no, with certain people we didn't try. There were kids Most. I fucking put a lot of effort into, man. Most people de- deserve a refund. So, uh, Mike and I used to coach next to each other um, on a t- on one tennis court. And on Michael's side, it just so happened that that's where all the parents would be sitting along the fence. And then Michael would be right next to the fence. So, the parents would be able to hear what he was saying and see what he was doing. And then I'd be on the other side of the net. So, the parents couldn't really hear what I was saying or doing. Oh, that oh is- dude, I just pissed. Oh, no, I'm pissing in my pants right now, dude. Take it off. Can you get a towel? This is bad. I fucked up. Take there. that piss cup away. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 oh, I just skull his piss. It's a full one ah. glass piss. Oh skull it. <clears throat> anyway, so we were coaching tennis. I was on the far, I was on the court, on the end of the court, away from the parents. Michael was closer to the parents. And I, Michael was always within earshot. So I knew Michael could hear what I was saying to the kids, but I knew the parents couldn't hear. And these kids are like three, four years old. They can't articulate to their parents, oh, mum, my coach is like, he's fucking weird. You can only do this when they're at a certain age, which is yeah, yeah, three to four. They, once they get old enough to explain, like, you can't do it. So, I would only do it to the really, really young kids. There were times when I would- Oh, dude, no, no, no. Okay. This is good. Okay. So, Marty, Marty doesn't care about anything and either do I really, but like, I, obviously, I was an earshot of parents, so I had to betray, uh, I was an, it was an acting job. I had to be a tennis coach and act like I had- responsibilities and I cared about their kids. Okay, Marty would, he'd have five kids on the court. They'd, they'd all be about, yeah, four years old. He'd have cones set up and then he'd put a sixth cone on the court. A marker. Is a a cone, marker, like a- yeah, like a marker for a kid to stand. So, they all stand on their fucking marks. You feed a ball a kid, you feed a, a ball to a kid and then they hit it and then you give them feedback. Marty would go, yeah, yeah, get better to all of them. Or no, he wouldn't even say he'd be. He'd gather them around originally and just go, "All right, kids, today we're gonna me 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 me
and they're four years old, so they can't articulate to their fucking parents. They're very what confused. The very parent, co- what, what, what Marty has said to them. Basically, I just round them up and just do really weird noises for like 30 seconds. And so, it, but it looked like I was just talking to them. I'd get on my knees and, and be like, oh, gather around, kids, gather around. Me, 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 me. And just look at them all and smile. And they'd just be so confused. And I'd tell them to go back to their markers. And then I'd throw a ball to a sixth marker that I'd set up. But there was obviously not enough kids. So it was just an empty marker. And, but I would pretend that there was a, a sixth kid there. And I would pretend to talk to this sixth imaginary kid. And the other five kids would just be looking at where I'm talking and just be so confused. He's so, he's like, made up a kid. He's made up a kid in front of the kids. Oh, man. And then complimented that kid and said, yes, that's how you do it. Kids, you need to be more like Jake or Joe or John or whatever the fuck he and called I that kid. weirded those kids out so hard. It was so funny. They just were so- They just never said a word to me because they thought I was fucking insane. At the end of the session, they go up to their parents and because they're so young, three or four, they can't articulate to their mum or dad. They just go- He's funny. My coach is funny, mummy. They wouldn't be able to explain to them. Like, they would. They were trying to get the point across to their parents, like, something's not right. But they would only ever be able to say stuff like, oh, mum, my coach is funny. And then the mum would be like, oh, is he? Oh, that's good. And then I'd just, like, wave. And be like, oh, I'll see you guys next week, you fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, dude, it's like a whacked out coach. Yeah. So oh. I had to work my ass off making it out like we were responsible adults that did a good job while he was just fucking around doing gibberish and making up kids and then telling those other kids that the made-up kid is better than that kid. And that was only for match point tennis. Greg mm-hmm. Smith, fu- fu- we fucked up, man. We <laughs> fucked up on purpose. Thanks for loaning us all that money. <laughs> 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 Greg Smith's our old boss that we prank called. It's like the second highest view on our YouTube, Marty and Michael Fully Actual. Check it out. It was a great prank call. We prank called our old boss. Buy our merchandise. Yeah. And make sure you fucking share our shit. Buy our merchandise and give us money. Buy it. Don't wear it. Just buy it. <sighs> I feel sick from drinking that piss. That's normal. I think that's a normal reaction. Okay. All right. Which brings us to our next segment. That's not the segment name. Oh, it is. Were you coughing? No, no, that was a yawn. Uh, the next segment <laughs> is called um, News of the Week. So, it's been renamed to News of the Week and we just read out news headlines. The first news story is from Seven News and they have said, Meth fueled attack squirrel found during drug bust. Two men charged. A squirrel in Alabama is locked up for, for breaking bad, but it's not his fault. Two humans are suspected to be the real culprits. Police say one Alabama man turned him into an attack squirrel. So these two men have given a squirrel, given a squirrel some meth, which makes it very violent to to a, to protect their meth supply. Very smart, very smart. If you're a businessman and you've decided to go with a product, uh, being protect it. Giving animals meth, yeah, that's good. I want to see that. What, what what sort of animal are we talking? Maybe a cow. What a, a heifer? Brahmin. Is a heifer a female cow? <laughs> what do you prefer, male or female? Look, I don't know why this always needs to be spoken about. Are they the same? A cow's a cow, right? Some bulls look very feminine. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, I can see that. That's all I'm going to say about that. Anyway. Next, next story is from the Daily Mail. So, it's bound to be really good. El Plate driver, 18, is fined $3,000 after police make a bizarre discovery in the back of his ute. All right, let's read what they found. <laughs> El Plate driver has been fined more than $3,000 after police found him transporting 29 goats in the tray and trailer of his ute. Highway patrol officers pulled over the driver on the con- country road outside of Nungan in central New South Wales. Officers stopped the motorist for a random breath test before making the discovery in the trailer of his Nissan Navara. That's a standard Monday morning in India. Yeah, that's, I don't, yeah, man, $3,000 for carrying some y- Fucking some hell, goats. imagine if, like, the police in India did that. That would be their fucking, what, half year wage gone just because they had some goats in their car. $3,000 If you want to drive with some goats in your car, let let them. They're not hurting anyone. $3,000 isn't that much. I don't know why he had, tw- like, 29, go- what's the goat limit? Are people meant to know the goat limit? I don't know the goat we limit. We drive with Bosley in the car. 
all the time. If we had what twenty nine dogs in the car, if we had twenty nine, we yeah, like, grand? Like, where do you draw the line? The, the goat cops, line? the cops, an arsehole. The cop is a fucking arsehole. They should, in that it situation. should be, it should be general knowledge how many goats you're allowed to transport. But they it's need not, to make a law. It's they need to make a law knowledge. on that. Oh, that was the last story. You know what it's time for? The next segment. <sighs> All right, this brings us to our final segment of the evening. All right, this segment <clears throat> has been renamed. <laughs> and this is just where we do a you prank shook call. The plants. You shook the plants on that. This is a prank call. And this week's prank call, I am. Oh, we're going to call up businesses and say that we can't come in tomorrow because we're sick or you are sick. Okay. I'm going to call Domino's and tell them that I'm the new guy and I'm not feeling very well. So I'm going to be calling in sick. For like, like stupid reasons, I reckon. I reckon one reason should be that you, you hurt your knee. That you fell over and you've you've scratched your knee. Yeah, yeah. I'll just make up. Or something. you're feeling too horny, like you just want to get stay stay in. <laughs> I'll bed. say it's a bit too hot. It's a bit too hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is winter, but it's too hot in Brisbane. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, I'm just gonna do my best for you guys. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. So share it out. Share, share it out. out. So merch store, buy some shit. My guns, gel blasters. All right. I wonder if my phone, even though it's on private, has been blocked. Maybe they know. Impossible. Technology, man. It's Big Brother. It's here. We always call at dinner time. They're probably. <laughs> um, hey, it's just Josh here. Um, I started uh, working last week, and I'm meant to work tomorrow. But can you t- can you tell the manager that I can't come in tomorrow? I meant my shift starts at like 1 p.m. Can you just tell him I can't come in tomorrow? Hey, it's Josh here. I just can't come in tomorrow. I can't get a medical certificate, but mum said she can write a letter because I've got this sick thing on my leg, eh? It's fucking sore as shit, man. If you if you don't believe me, I can send you a photo if you want. I, I, can't, I, I, started, I started last week, but I can't come in tomorrow, but I can come in the next day after that if you want, eh? No, I think uh, I called you on Friday, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told you, like, I'm not going to... We are not, we are not hiding... No, no, nah, but I called back before and after that, and some other chick said that yeah, I could come in tomorrow, but I can't come in tomorrow now. But I can come in like the next day if you want. It just give us a trial run, man. No, buddy, uh, uh, this is not in the time manager here. Like I already informed you on Friday morning or afternoon. Like there's an incident with the e-bike. We can't repair with that at the moment. So well, I'm not going. I'm but, not able to hire you. But but how come that other chick I called that same day said that I could come in today or tomorrow? She said that she said come in next Tuesday at one, and and she said you you've definitely got it, Josh. She said that. No, but it's like I'm the manager. I can't. Uh, I'm the only can tell you that I you can work on not. I can't believe she said that. Then, but hey, do, is she gonna get like fired or some shit? Cause that's bullshit, eh? I'm the manager. I already told you, like, this is a problem. How did you realize, like, uh, if someone is telling you, like, you can come, uh, how you can trust? But what am I, What do you mean, mate? She said I could come in. She said I got it. She said uh, she didn't say I got the job, but she said I'll come in for a trial on, on Tuesday, mate. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, but- just in stores. I don't know who told you as well. But I called you on, like, Friday morning, mate. Not Tuesday. Yeah, no, I, I no, oh yeah, you called us on Friday morning, right? And then Friday, yeah. Friday afternoon, I called back, and that chick who was working said to come in, right? She said next Tuesday, okay. next okay. Tuesday, come in at one p.m. And Joshy, you got a trial job, mate. She said that to sorry, me, mate. Sorry, uh, I can't spend time at the moment. Sorry, but you can call if you want. You can call tomorrow morning. Oh, mate, you've, 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 you've done. Email. Wait, email. Um, let me send you a picture of my dick. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Dude, that would have been so good if he took your email down. Oh, well, that was a, 
Josh is <laughs> Josh is on the prowl for jobs out there. That worked out better than I thought it would. Yeah, dude, I did not expect that. Do you want to do one more business and see what happens? I doubt it will work that well, but yeah, all right. Should we just go Pizza Hut Aspley? <laughs> Transferring to Aspley. <laughs> Hey, ma- hey, mate. It's just Joshy here. I, I got job. I got a job with you boys last last week, right? I'm meant to start uh, tomorrow at like one p.m. or something, but I can't. I'm just calling us. I can't come in tomorrow. I've got a bit of a like a bit of a thing on my leg. Can you just tell the managers that I can't come in tomorrow? Tomorrow? Uh, what is it for, though? For work, mate. I got. A, I'm one of the new boys, Joshy. I oh, should be on the roster. Um, because I'm not aware that he hired someone. Yeah, yeah, last Friday he gave me the call and said, Josh, you, you bloody, you got it, mate. And he said, I'll start on Tuesday. But can you just tell him, right, just tell him I can't come in tomorrow just because I got, like, I just got something on my leg, like this big sore thing, man, he's fucked. Like, it's honest, he's fucked. I'm not going to go to the... I can't get a medical certificate, but I can send you boys a photo. I can send you boys a photo and bring it in on, like, Thursday. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not aware that he's hiring someone, but I'll find out. And if there is a situation like that, I'll, he'll probably just call you. Yeah, sick, mate. Yeah, just let him know. I probably won't be able to answer my phone or most of tomorrow because I'll probably have a bit of a sleep until about 3 p.m., but just tell him... To text me, tell him to text me if, he, if there's any dramas and tell him I'll come in the next day after. Tell him I'll come in the next day after that. <laughs> I think we're putting both pranks in. That, that was his good language. That was well said. <laughs> Dude, I could listen to Josh all day. Josh trying to get jobs. <laughs> Josh jobs. We'll call him. Oh my god, dude! That was therapy for me. Like I was this close to, you know. We should do All right, guys, that is the end of episode eighteen. And another, as another week draws to a close, we'd like to leave you with this message: We We're are the, the best. We're, We're the, the best. best. We're, We're the best. best. We're the 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 best!